People sometimes ask me, how do you write a FreeDOS program that can read options from the command line? And that's a really important question to ask because FreeDOS is primarily a command line driven operating system. So it's really important for utilities to be able to read options that have been passed them from the command line uh, by the user so they can change their behavior and do different things. So in today's video, I'm going to show you just two simple methods that you can use uh, to parse the command line in C. So here I'm using FreeDOS 1.3 RC2 just because we're going to be using the uh, IA16 version of the GCC compiler. Uh, here I've got an empty uh, directory. So let's go ahead and start a new uh, program. Uh, we'll call it hello because it's sort of a hello world type program. Hello.c. Now if you're new to writing C programs, you're always going to start uh, C programs with really the, the same first two lines. Uh, one's going to include the standard I.O. headers, and the other one is going to include the standard lib headers. So what those two lines do, standard I.O. is all of the standard I.O. functions, things that will uh, read and write uh, data to the user. Basically printing information to the screen is part of the I.O., the input-output. Uh, standard lib or standard lib, that, that's the standard library. Uh, and so really all the other functions you're going to be doing uh, in C are stored in standard lib. Uh, so let's go ahead and start our program. Uh, I'm going to return a value back to the command line environment. So I need to define this as an int main function. And to be able to read command line options, I need to have somewhere for uh, the program to listen to those uh, uh, options. And that gets passed through uh, two different variables. Uh, one is argc, the other is argv. Argc is an integer value. So there's argc. That's the argument count. That's what that stands for. And uh, that's going to tell you the number of options that have been passed to the program, uh, including, by the way, the, uh, the name of the program itself. That'll be stored in the zero entry of the array. Uh, the other one, of course, is an array. And that is a character array. And so if it's a character array, you've got that single star. But this is a, uh, a list of strings. And so you need another star because you need the strings themselves. So there's uh, argv, or that's, I'm oh, sorry, argv. That's the argument vector uh, is what that stands for. And that's just a list of strings that have been passed to it on the command line. Each string is going to be a different part of the command line. Zero is the command itself. And then option or argv1 is going to be the first option and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, just write a simple program that uh, parses exactly that. So I'm going to use a simple variable i to uh, iterate through the uh, command line uh, options. Probably should pick a better name than i, but uh, this is a short demo program. Uh, and so let's go ahead and iterate through the command line. So you're going to do uh, start the iteration at 1, because if I start at 0, uh, argv0 is going to be the name of the program itself. And usually you don't need to uh, read that. So we're just going to start at 1. And uh, we're going to do as long as i is less than the argument count. And then at the end of each loop, we're going to increment i. That's i plus plus. That means it's going to increment i by a value of 1 every time. And inside that loop, we're going to just do a simple line that prints out. So we're going to do a formatted print, printf. And we need to give it a format. So we're going to do percent %d. That's a decimal value. It's, a, it's literally an integer. Uh, and then we're going to do a colon and then percent %s. And that's going to be a string. And then our new line, and then the close quote. And uh, there's the uh, number as we've been iterating through of i, and then argv i. That's the uh, ith value along argv. So one, two, three. Um, go ahead and uh, that's the line that we have. Uh, and of course, at the end of the command, I'm going to or end of the function, I'm going to uh, exit back with a value of zero. Zero usually indicates uh, success. Let's go ahead and do an alt f s to save it and alt f x to exit. And now let's go ahead and use the uh, Watcom C compiler and linker and compile our hello.c. You can see there's the output for uh, the compiler. And it's now created a, a number of different files, including the uh, exe. That's the program we need to run. So if I run hello without any options, it's actually not going to print out anything because it's only going to be printing out options 
after uh, the name of the program itself. So this will just give me a blank uh, return, and that's what we'd expect. Uh, and then uh, let's show you uh, if we pass some command line options to it, uh, what will it look like? So I'm going to just print out one, two, three, four, but I'm just going to use the words so you can see uh, what's a number and what's a string. One, two, three, four. And you can see here that the program is now iterating through uh, the command line. Uh, argv1 is the word one, argv2 is the word two, and so on. And that's a very simple way that you can parse a command line in C. Uh, if you were using a, uh, writing a program that needed to uh, uh, change its behavior, you might uh, use this to uh, provide a prompt, uh, or you might, uh, that you might read from the command line, or you might uh, use uh, other uh, like slash options. Uh, so slash H uh, would just get returned as the uh, first option. Um, slash Q, uh, or this ubiquitous uh, hello slash question, uh, which usually would uh, result in printing a usage screen uh, back to the user. This is a very standard way of uh, parsing a command line. In fact, we can use the uh, IA16 uh, version of GCC uh, to compile that. We're going to store that as, let's not overwrite our hello exe program, let's actually store it as uh, let's call it ihello.exe and hello.c. And that's going to go ahead and compile our program and store the output in ihello.exe. And you can see that's exactly what it's done. Uh, the behavior is exactly the same. So, uh, sorry, um, ihello without any options will just return. And then if I pass it options, ihello one, two, three, four, you can see it's doing exactly this what we did before. Now, when I compiled this uh, using the IA16 version of GCC, I used the hyphen O. That's a Unix style option. Uh, in this case, it tells the compiler to put it into a specific output file. Uh, but anything that's a hyphen, that's a Unix style uh, way of, of uh, passing command line options. Uh, and that's actually included uh, uh, the ability to parse a command line using those Unix style options. That's included as part of the IA16 version of GCC. So uh, let's modify our program uh, to use uh, that library included with GCC. Uh, and that we're going to need to include one other library, and that's include uh, get opt. And that's the uh, allows, that's a function that allows you to get options from the command line. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, modify our program. We're going to add some lines uh, right here. Um, so typically what you'll do is you'll run through a while loop because it's going to parse the command line as long as there's options to parse. Um, and there's quite a lot going on here, so I'll, I'll break it up using uh, some spaces. So uh, first we need to uh, read into uh, a, a variable, and I'm just going to reuse i. Uh, we're going to call the getOpt function. And we need to pass it the argc, argv that we had from before. And now we need to give it a list of options that are valid options. Uh, and you do this by providing it in uh, as a normal string. Uh, so I used uh, H and Q, uh, but you also want to be able to use uh, uppercase versions of those as well if we're running a DOS program. So I'll just write uh, HH and QQ as both uppercase and lowercase values. Uh, and that's the end of the get opt uh, function. And that is the end of the uh, the uh, the i equals and as long as that doesn't equal uh, in eof that's a uh, when when our get opt is done reading the command line it'll return the eof that's the end of file uh, marker and inside that while uh, you can print out what's being given to it. And normally, normally you do this through a, a switch statement. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to do uh, switch on i, oops, let's actually indent this. Uh, 
uh, I might have a case for lowercase h. And because I'm using a case insensitive, we could do case uppercase h. And uh, that would just be, uh, let's say, just do a put s just to print something uh, to the user. Uh, and it's just going to print, um, let's make that a shorthand for hello. That's the word hello. And there's my break. And we'll do the same thing for uh, Q. And put S, and this might be shorthand for, uh, let's say, quick options. And so we might say quick. And then if I don't get any, uh, if I get something else that comes back, uh, then you're going to want to have a default statement. And we'll just put out a simple string of um, unknown command line option. And I don't need to have a break after that because that's the last item in the switch statement. Uh, and then uh, after I'm done parsing that part of the command line, there might be other options beyond those Unix style options. Uh, and so we still want to continue parsing the command line after that. And so it's basically the same thing that we did before, except instead of starting i at uh, 1, we're going to use the variable opt end, and that'll be uh, opt end, and that'll be set automatically by uh, the get opt uh, uh, library. As I actually return the value of opt end, and that's the next uh, command line option uh, past all of the uh, Unix style options, and the rest of the program is exactly the same. So we'll do it Alt F S to save that and Alt F X to get out. Uh, and now let's go ahead and compile that using the uh, I16 GCC. And we're gonna output that as um, I2 hello, just so we know it's a different program, uh, and hello.c. And let's go ahead and compile my program. And then I2 hello, uh, now, if I don't give it any options, it should just give me the same as before. It'll just return uh, just without any, any output. Or I2 hello, uh, let's give it a Unix style option of uh, dash Q, that's quick. And that should just return the uh, print out the, the, the string quick. And there it is. Uh, I2 hello uh, dash Q dash H will give me quick and uh, hello. And I2 hello dash Q dash H, and then we'll give it some command line options after that, and then we'll just say uh, one, two, three, four, and that'll be printed out afterwards. But they're being in the positions of three, four, five, and six. So that's just two simple ways that you can use to uh, read a command line uh, using C. Uh, so your command line program can actually do different things depending on what the user has asked it to do. Uh, now there's another library that you can use called uh, getopt uh, long and that's uh, available on our uh, website. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description for this video. Uh, subscribers on Patreon will actually get a, uh, a separate video that talks about how to use that, that library. Uh, and if you don't aren't a member of Patreon, you can uh, certainly uh, uh, read the code yourself. So visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.